people and moments we won't forget. The Paralympic Games to me are the parallel Olympics. It's a really neat family to be a part of. Fair play, teamwork, friendship. It's, it's like a big support group for each other as well. There's a special energy and synergy in the Paralympic Games between the athletes, between the spectators and particularly with the volunteers. They are similar but different. The Paralympic Games mean endurance, it means excitement, it means fortitude and courage. Close but unique. It's a really coming together of this incredible energy that we call the Paralympic spirit. You must not miss it because it's one of the high points of anybody's life to be there. We were there for you and with you. The Paralympic movement entered a new era in 2008. In winter and in summer, we encountered many different sports and met many sportsmen and women who told us their own often inspirational stories. For me, is the sport ganz to me, sport therapy, is therapy, both physical and mental. A way to distract myself and not to be constantly reminded of my disability. It gives me more power, more courage to face the world. So if you can do something like the marathon, you feel that I cannot do anything in the world. Sport should be the key thing for everybody. It enriches your life, providing balance and goals. Sport is very diverse. There's an appropriate sport for everybody, which gives back something special to each one of us. I like the feeling of uh, weightlessness, because in the water there's no um, obstacles, right? There's, uh, you can go anywhere you want. Yeah, I like that feeling. <laughs> we have more the sensation of flying. I think we have something extra compared to able-bodied skiers. I mean, we don't have our feet on the ground, so that we have both the sensation of gliding and flying at the same time. But I think of wheelchair rugby, uh, it makes me feel alive, it's fast, it's exciting, uh, it's full on, it's just a great game and it's great to play. Which, which is very interesting in table tennis, it's, it's a very open sport, it's regardless of the disability, even with a very high disability, it's easy to do. The year 2008 was moving, memorable, colourful. We were impressed by so many different people, their triumphs and emotions. Beijing provided the perfect stage, in particular for the jewel of the Paralympics, Oscar Pistorius against Marlon Shirley. Well, Oscar and I, we haven't met each other too many times. We've only raced once, and that was in, in Athens. I mean, he's a great kid. He's an unbelievable athlete. He is, you know, I'd be surprised if he comes second. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that race. You know, I finally put that to rest. Tensions were high in a repeat of the Athens T44 100 meter sprint final. Marlon falls after 70 meters, tearing his hamstring, and Oscar wins the 100 meters for the first time. And how far do you think you can push this? Oh, hopefully a bit further, you know, I've got a, a good couple of years ahead of me. I've got another eight years or nine years in athletics, and, um, you know, I at least want to get to one Olympic Games by then. So, you know, if I can, if I can bring down my 400 time by, by about half a second, I should be in, in, in good stead to qualify for you know world champs next year and definitely for, for 2012 in London and uh, for the Olympics then. You know that's the sort of goal that I've got and obviously then to just maintain my title you know on, on the track in the Paralympics. Uh, but you know I'm, I'm very confident in, in the next couple of years we're going to have some good years coming ahead. It's people like Oscar who clearly put across the message. They are idols not because of their disabilities but because of their achievements. Watching the athletes compete and strive for victory, I realize that there is no difference. They've given their all to get here and they want to win and are sad if they lose. Yet they know that all this effort won't have been in vain. 
especially when able-bodied people then come to realize just what the Paralympic athletes are really capable of. The year 2008 was the most successful in the history of the Paralympics, and the future is looking bright. We can't wait.